Okay, so first time trying this with the iPad. Let's see how it goes. I can see my cat on the dining room table. And she... Cleo! Get the fuck off the table. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome to the 159th episode of Twisted Strands. And... Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna call this the Ryan Beck and PJs episode because clearly I'm in my PJs. Yes, Cleo, that was Daddy upstairs. Hopefully he's doing all right. Anyway, <laughs> so obviously I bought things at Ryan Beck and had a good time. I met a lot of wonderful people. You know who you are, and you are too many to uh, list. Plus, I'm really bad with names, and if I didn't greet you with rabbit enthusiasm podcaster or fan or other plurk buddy I apologize I um I'm really bad with faces and names so I didn't remember everybody and I haven't been keeping up with all the new and coming po podcasts so sorry about that I try <laughs> but I was very happy to be greeted with such love and I got all the hugs I could possibly get and that's Cleo. Oh, I'm always suspicious of that animal. She is a naughty cat. Where's the fucking camera? On the oh, it's right there. Ah, hi. Anyway, let's see. What did I get at Brian Beck? You want to know? I want to tell you. I got a woolly winder. Gotta remember to talk to you. I got a woolly winder for my beloved Kiwi Wheel. So that's the big purchase. And then that was one of the things I was gonna try. Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Anyway, two minutes in, you better be able to hear me. And I also splurged on a blending board so yay I have a blending board now and clearly I've already used it a little bit so that and a sweater's worth of yarn from Brooks Farm Yarn. Now I like their stuff. They're from Texas. And this is their four play. And that's F-O-U-R. And then next word play. It's four ounces, 270 yards, 50-50 wool and silk, hand wash only. I bought enough to make a sweater. It's a pretty color, orange, a little bit of darker orange, a little bit pink. So I'm hoping it'll knit up into a nice market sweater which is very heavily cabled and so on and so forth. Hi Cleo, you want to be in this? You want to be in the video? Come here. You can be in the video if you want. No? Fine. I didn't bring anything to drink in uh, but I did buy some cranberry bog wine from Montezuma Wineries. I That's my must always purchase. So I'm very happy I have that chilling in the fridge. And I bought some Barmaid's products. The Lolo Bari stuff. This for the feet. And this for usually just my hands or my arms so that's another bunch of stuff and what else? Oh, some various fibers to play with I also have an orange somewhere I don't know this is black this is a beautiful purple and fire star Firestar? Yes, Firestar. So I can make shiny little roll eggs on my pretty new thing. I'm gonna put 
those away. Oh, and orange, of course. This is beautiful orange. This is stuff from Fiber Kingdom. They were in the big barn again this year. They always have a great bunch of stuff. Um, then, of course, I had to find... Hey, hey, no fight. Oh, Frisky and her trying to make a... I Brats. You're all brats. Both brats. Stop trying to bite her butt! <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, fiber! She's taking the eating fiber, which makes me very unhappy with her. But anyway, I bought another gorgeous loop bat. I love this one. It's got tons of black and shiny stuff and purples. Going into magenta. And where's the name for it? Urgh. She calls it Poodle Skirt. And it's got Merino, Nylon, and Angelina. Angelina. So, that's going to be fun to spin up. I'm going to close it up and protect it from prying mouths. Yes. Because we know. Some kitties just can't help themselves. Sooner or later, I'll get this to work. But anyway, it was a beautiful fall day on Saturday. It wasn't as crowded as it was last year. And of course, the fucking phone is working. I'm not answering that. that number anyway. I'm not going to fuss with this until I'm done. So anyway, that's what I bought. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but to me it was significant. And now, come here. Come here, old man. Oh, I don't get to show him very often. But this is my old man, Frisky. He's a good old boy. What are you doing? Where are you at? Come on. Where's your door? He's a good old boy. So anyway, uh, Molly just stays. Cleo, get off of him. Leave him alone. You're getting a lot of close-ups of my head today. I'm sorry for that. Um. Anyway, still working on my cute little patch pumpkin. I know I thought I'd have it done by now, but I, you know, life just got in the way. And I haven't hardly worked on my sweater, so I'm not even, didn't even bring it down to show you. But I've stuffed him. Right now he looks like a bit of a strange mushroom right now. But I'm nearly to the top of his head and the stem. So he's stuffed. I didn't want to stuff him too much because even with the DK weight knit on size 4 needles, this worsted weight yarn is a bit of a fail. So I think this will be his front. So what I'm going to do about his face is I'm going to have him with felt. I'm going to glue some felt to his face so he, that he has a face. Now, my other work in progress is my weaving. Excuse me, Frisky. So now you get to see my loom. This is what I'm working on, the second panel of a kind of a plaid gingham looking baby blanket for my church. I heard mention that they would need some baby blankets, so that's what I'm working on. And this is the whole front of the thing. And this is the back of it. And as you can tell, I'm truly, I'm really a novice still. That's only like the fifth thing I've ever put on the loom and 
The little girl is very playful and will probably try and bite the string that's on it right now. She is hell on wheels, I tell ya. She is so bad. Anyway, so, Ryan Beck, even though it did rain a bit, it was pretty cool. And I got to meet some of my friends that I never get to see otherwise, so... That's awesome. And I thought it was really amusing that it looked like a Rolling Stone cover. So that was cool. So, that's the whips. I haven't touched my spinning lately. Even though I love spinning. There's too many other things I love too, so you know that. I'm also going to be spending the week sewing up doll dresses out of Halloween themed ribbon. <laughs> So, not too much knitting and crochet and spinning and weaving will get done. Although, I, that is a fast project, I must admit. Once I get it all warped and stuff, it goes really quickly. And, yeah, Cleo is actually sitting inside the loom. Yeah, you're a brat. Sorry, I can't get a picture because I'm recording. But anyway, yeah, lots of plans. Gonna do some Halloween things. Gonna finish my patch. Gonna work on that blanket. But for some doll dresses. And if I finish some, I'll show you them next week. And what else? How long have I got? Oh, yeah. Only 11 minutes so far of me trying to show off my cats and stop them from pouncing on each other. So, yeah. Had a blast at Rhinebeck. Went to eat pancakes with my friends from Stitch and Mitch on Sunday, and that was lovely. Even though Trillium Yarns was late in opening, and we didn't get to Stitch and Mitch there, which was a drag. But shit happens. We'll just come another time. And that was the Morristown Pancake House, which was really nice and very crowded. So, the food was great, but the service... They haven't gotten their shit yet together yet, so it'll work. Oh, you're so cute, Frisky. <laughs> he looks at me. You crazy woman. I'm just an old cat. Feed me. Ah, Cleo. See? See what this gets you? Gets you corporate cuddling. Show the people your pretty face. Yeah, you're a pretty girl with a bad attitude. With a bad attitude. Come here, come here, come here. Tell me. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, she pounced on him again, so she gets held. I figured that the lighting would be an issue for this location, but, um, yeah, not too bad with the uh, background. A little less confusing of the background. So we might try this again next week. Yes, we might try that again next week. Goodbye. <laughs> what other stuff and junk have I had? Um, not much. Just muddling along. I am still recovering from Rhinebeck. That is why I'm in my PJs at earlier than 8 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> I am such a nerd. Anyway, I'll probably spend my time watching. Stop it! <laughs> I'll probably be spending my time just taking care of the house a little bit, or knitting some more, and weaving some more, and sewing. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the week. And I've been watching a lot of Supernatural. I'm yet to catch up to season 9. I'm still on season 8. And I love it still. And I'm becoming a fan of Garth. And God, Sam is still the most handsome devil in the place, I think. He's still gorgeous. I love that hair. And the fact that he's got a great body doesn't really hurt. And so I've been going through Tumblr and BuzzFeed and all those stupid things that, you know, you tend to watch while you're, you know, they're playing with each other through the craft paper that I put on the 
Loom. <laughs> Where would my life be without my cats, huh? <laughs> She's having a great old time taunting him. Yeah. If he gets upset, I'm gonna chase you away. So you got to see both cats. Frisky while suffering with some kind of blockage, not blockage. He's got some kind of mysterious tumor or a hard lump in his, yeah, I'm trying to show you my, somewhere on his abdomen. He's got a lump. It's probably cancer. So we've been giving him steroids to cope with it, prednisone. And he's also anemic, so I've been giving him iron. He seems to go with, take the liquids better. You know, he still plays, he still eats and drinks and all that good shit, so I'm hoping to get another year with my loving, stupid, well-behaved cat. And Cleo, well, she's just running the household. <laughs> she's really making me laugh. Be nice. <laughs> anyway, since this is going to be a weird little video done on my iPad, I'm going to just give you my content info here. My name on Ravelry is JD, J A -E, e and I'm on Plurk, Pinterest, Twitter. And Instagram as JD666, and that's spelled the same J A D E E 666. And Facebook is JD Huff, H U F F. And my email address is J A D E E A L T at gmail.com. And my you can find show notes and stuff and junk at my blog for the podcast, which is, crap, I'm almost forgetting, HTPP, blah, 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 twisted strands with an extra S dot blogspot dot com. And I keep looking at the wrong area. Gotta realize that's the camera. Anyway. Before I fall asleep or rub Bengay into my legs and feet and shoulders, let me tell you one thing. If you're making a craft, and I mean any craft, with your hands or with a machine, you're making the world a more beautiful place. And for that, I thank you. And I also thank you <laughs> for watching today. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much. And if you're new to the show, thank you for joining me. I hope you like it. And subscribe. You can subscribe on YouTube. So that's it for this week. Enjoy. And keep up with me, how matter, how, whatever way you want to. And I will be recording in another week. Have a good one. Bye.